Hey, Ting, what are you doing? Building a puzzle and eating blueberries. Whoa, that's a big puzzle. Hey, I think this piece might fit right in here. This one I think too. Oh. Well, that's two less pieces that we need to fit in. Hey, you know, I think we can change these blueberries to red. Hello, they're called blueberries because they're blue. Yes, they are blue, but they have the same color pigment as cranberries, and cranberries are red. Then why cranberries red, not blue? Well, cranberries are really sour because they have a lot of acid in it. That makes them red. If we put acid, will blueberries become red? Only one way to find out, but I think we have to get the pigment out of the blueberry skin. Maybe we can make some blueberry jelly and try to change that to red. Let's try it. Bet you can't make a shot. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Ting and I found a blueberry jelly recipe, and it's not too hard. All you need is a thick pan, an induction stove for medium heat, and a spoon to stir and smash the berries, and a bit of sugar. So, hello, mayo, Ting. Hello. Hello. Okay, very good. Can enjoy smashing. Try to think of something that makes you angry and then just crush the berries and let it out. It's kind of like berry therapy. Ding, stop playing video games. Oh, and, yep, just dump it all in. Okay, very good. And then just stir it like that. Okay, now you can see that we've got it quite thick. We want to see if blueberries can be changed to red like cranberries by adding acid. Yesterday we made a jar full of blueberry jelly, but it appears somebody ate some at breakfast. Was that you, Ting? No. Jenna Ma? Jenna. Okay, maybe we can just blame it on your mom and your brother since they're not here. Okay, let's blame them. Alright, it's a deal. Okay then, we want to make several different drinks using citric acid, lemon juice, and the blueberry jelly to see if any of it changes red like cranberry juice. Then we can do a taste test. Sound good? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So we've already put 250 cc's of water in each of the cups plus 1.5 teaspoons of sugar. So we have sugar water in each one. We're gonna keep this one as the control, just sugar water. For this one, we'll add 1 8 teaspoon of citric acid to make it a little bit acidic. Okay, you wanna add the citric acid? That's a quarter teaspoon, so maybe just like half of that. Okay, and then take a chopstick, stir that around until it's dissolved. Okay, that looks very dissolved. Now, for the next one, uh, we're going to add a quarter teaspoon of citric acid, so it'll have twice as much, just in case this one's not enough. So let's add a quarter teaspoon to this cup here and stir that around. Okay, and this one. Okay, that looks good. Now for the last one, Ting has already squeezed the juice out of this lemon. So what we're going to do is add the lemon juice to cup number four. Just dump all that in. That should make that nice and acidic. A few seeds in there too. Okay, let's put that over here out of the way. All right, maybe take a chopstick and just mix that a little bit to make sure it's kind of evenly dispersed. All right, that should take care of that one. Well, Ting, it's the moment of truth. Let's add one tablespoon of blueberry jelly to each of the four and see if any of them become red. Okay, let's start with the control. Remember, this one is just sugar water. Yeah, I think that should do it. Okay, dump it in and mix it around. See if we get any color change. I think that's probably good. Neo Mayo Kandao Hong Sa. Mayo. Mayo. So no red color. That's not surprising because this is just neutral sugar water. All right, let's try some with some citric acid. So do the same thing. Add the same amount of blueberry jelly to this one that has 1 8 teaspoon of citric acid. I'll leave it away for you. Okay. 
Meo Meo Con Hung Se. Yo. Yo. It, it looks like red cranberry juice. It does look like red cranberry juice. Well, I think we've already proven that blueberries can be changed to red like cranberry just by adding some acid. All right, this one will have a little bit of sour taste. Uh, let's see what happens to the other two. How about we add one tablespoon of blueberry jelly to the one with one fourth teaspoon of citric acid. Okay, this one also looks pretty red. This one will be more sour tasting because the extra citric acid. Let's try it with the lemon juice. Add the same amount of blueberry jelly. Lemon juice should make it kind of acidic as well. Well, there you have it. <clears throat> the one with no acid in it has stayed its kind of bluish purple neutral color while the three that have acids in them all became red like cranberry juice. I think at this point we can do a taste test. Let's divide them up into some smaller cups and give them a try. Okay? Okay. We have shown that the pigment in blueberries can be changed to red by putting it in an acidic solution. Now we've divided the cups up, added some fresh blueberries and some ice to do a taste test. Okay, so, it looks good. It does look pretty good, huh? How about we start with this one here, the control, which is just sugar water and blueberry jelly. Here's a cup for you. Well, it tastes sweet and you can taste the blueberry. Not bad. Okay, let's try the one with 1 8 teaspoon of citric acid. Tastes a little bit sour and sweet. Try the one with a quarter teaspoon of citric acid. Oh, I like this one better. You can taste the sour. Sweet and sour. Okay. What about the lemon juice one? Oh, that's pretty good too. You can kind of taste the lemonade. It's a little bit different sour than the citric acid. Okay, it needs way shi huan naiga. Check it out, you like the quarter teaspoon of citric acid? Yeah. It's kind of a hard choice for me because I like the taste of the lemon as well, but the one with the citric acid is quite good. They're a little bit different. I think I like this one too though. Ting, I think we have invented a new kind of sweet and sour drink. Cheers. Shay Shay Ting for risking your taste buds in our science experiment. You guys can try this at home. Just adjust the sugar level and the amount of acid to your taste. It's it, and that's that. See you in the future. Bye-bye. If you want to learn more about color-changing foods, you can watch the color-changing cabbage video or head over to Oinkidoo Academy for an in-depth explanation of the science.